Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've just been out here all night, um, trying to make sure that mobs don't spawn near my, my villagers here. I did move them over. I brought two over. Originally it was, um, it was, like, I think this guy and one of these guys. I don't know which one specifically, because there's several of them now. But, ah, how did you... I think he just came here because it was it was dark enough under this spot that he... Or, it wasn't in direct sunlight, so he wouldn't get burned. I don't think he spawned anywhere near here. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few little baby villagers running around. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the villagers think of things as houses. Um, phone... Phone going off. Um... Because, like, I made I made this house, and originally I put them in here. Like, I ran the track right into here, and then blocked off the door. So they were just trapped in here, and they immediately had a baby, who was a priest. Which, he's probably running around here somewhere. Hey, there he is. Um, and, alright, so they do recognize these as doors, that's good. Because last night they were all just huddled in this corner over here. Just three of them, just sitting here, staring at each other. Um... But when I put them in here at first, they, they ended up having two children, uh, and they wouldn't have any more than that. There was just the four of them in here. So I thought, okay, well, maybe that's because they see four doors and think, okay, well, we'll have enough babies to make four houses. Or, or you know, to have one baby per house, one person per house, whatever. Um, so then I let them out, and they wandered around and all ran straight into these village houses, which are not safe. So I removed all the doors, and at night they all run back here and into these houses, so that's good. They do recognize the double doors, so that's a bonus. Um, I'm wondering if that means that they will see the double door and not care if one door gets knocked down. Because, I mean, if I remove this door, there's still a door on the house, so they might not, like, decide to run, which is kind of a bad idea. And I'm worried about that, but, um... Yeah, up here I've just got two two little apartments up above. This is going to be the, the eating hall kind of thing. I've got a little window to get food from and a little place for them to come back in here, which will count as another house. And I'm going to build a basement. I just don't know what to do with it yet. So, um, this one's just a, a long house. This one's just a, you know, big... I like what I did with the pillars in the corners on this one. Um, yeah, I know some of them are just kind of iffy looking like this one. I'm still iffy about it because, like, it's it's flat-ish on this side. It's totally flat on the other side, um, which looks a little strange. I mean, it looks okay with the awning, I think, but I don't know. This one I had troubles with making it look good. Um, I think I kind of like how it is now. Maybe I'll wait until actually uh, do they have the colored stair blocks I don't I don't remember in 1.3 which is apparently supposed to come out in like August 1st I think which is kind of a long ways away so I'm not holding my breath for that um, I might just start playing with one of the snapshots because they're working pretty well so far um, got little babies running around man they run fast look at those little legs go um, yeah, so they're just wandering around. Uh, I don't have any iron golems yet, so instead I've just taken to lighting up everything. They like to just come out here and admire the view. Maybe it's just that they like to admire. I wonder if they can get in through iron doors, because that'd be nice to have iron doors all around the place. Because I don't think zombies can break iron doors. Can they? Can they? Tell me, oh priesty man. I tried to right-click on his nose. It wouldn't let me place a torch on his nose. Surprisingly. Um, which house was it that I that looked a little odd? Ah, oh, yes, this one up here. Um, the, uh, open doors so often. Um, up here I don't have a window because it's just a building right next to it. And there's a spider on that roof. Um, but I have a window on this side. And around the back. So, yeah. Um, yeah. On the bright side, they all close the doors behind them. Oh, goody. 
Okay, well, they do seem to recognize all of these things as houses <laughs> hiding in the basement. What was that? Something just happened to my window. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's that. This house has four smaller houses in it, and this one has three smaller houses in it. And these two are just regular, so for a total of one, two, three, seven, eleven houses here. So I'm expecting to have eleven villagers at some point. This almost looks like a face to me, with like a nose here, and then just like a scrunched up, like an angry face. Like a tiki face, I don't know. But yeah, so that's cool. Um, got a bunch of crap in my inventory. I'm going to go clear this out, and then we're going to go check out that ravine that I found underneath my house. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. And I'm back. Uh, just one last thing before I do go into that ravine. I'm going to take my bed, and I'm going to keep this out so I can see what time it is. And if at all possible, I'm going to attempt to sleep during all the nights because I want those villagers to spread quickly, and then maybe once they've spread... Um, they'll spawn an iron golem. I realize that I don't have any pumpkins, so I can't make an iron golem. Um, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, yeah. So, we're gonna have to be careful about those villagers until we get an iron golem. Um, maybe we should go and explore that, uh, abandoned mine shaft some more and see if we can't find... Where are these zombies? There's one. Get. Um, and see if we can't find some pumpkin seeds in there. Because I really need those, those golems around. <laughs> Without them, our villagers might just be screwed. Man, this is a deep, deep ravine. Okay, spider, just get it. Just get out of here. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me if a voice sounds a little... I don't know, strained? Something, something? I'm just... I'm not feeling well. I think I'm getting sick again, so... Hooray! <laughs> and big surprise! I've had horrible sleeping patterns lately. That missed. I just don't feel like getting shot right now. Sorry, skeletons. Man, this is a wide ravine. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, he's gonna blow up. I backed into the wall, and he was still getting bigger, so... Yeah, this is a huge ravine, man. Is that another ravine right there? Looks like it. Might be. Yep, that's another ravine. It just goes right through this one. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Zombie, just just die. What's this one? It is Smite 5, okay. I wasn't sure if it was Smite 5 or, like, Smite 2. I couldn't remember. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? Yep, yep, just... Okay, thank you. Arrows do actually do a lot of damage, so that's that's a good thing to um, to have around, just in case. I mean, it's harder to get arrows than it is to get swords. So, but once you've got a good supply of arrows, it's a pretty decent weapon. Alright, I wanted to mention, um, when I was bringing the villagers over, I, I made a track that went like a third of the way, about from the other village to my village, and then I just got two villagers on a, in minecarts and um, pushed them along a little bit and then put a powered cart behind it and just sent them off. And once they got to the other side, I went back and grabbed all of the all of the rails again. And uh, then just pretty much repeated that. So I would, I would go ahead of them, place down rails, and then come back, send them off with a powered cart, and then remove all the rails behind them, make more, etc. Um, and it worked pretty well. Powered minecarts are underrated. 
they can they go for a relatively long time like I mean you could definitely get somebody from that village to my village oh my god that scared the crap out of me oh jeez oh oh it's night time let's sleep because I don't want to go up there and have to bring more villagers back that would suck um, okay, we got that way. Yeah, see, this whole top part of the ravine is still totally unlit. So let's let's head down to this edge over here, and I'm gonna build my way up there, and then we will focus on lighting up that edge stuff up there. Let's grab some coal over down here. Actually, might as well just use this one grab even more coal. <laughs> like, if I wanted coal otherwise, I might have gone and um, mined out a couple veins, but that would have been stupid, because I could just mine out one vein and get, like, 64 coal, so. Those fortune picks are, like, way OP, by the way. Just saying. Um, I have been playing a little bit of the the snapshot the latest snapshot, which is like 26A, I think. Jeez, guys, relax. Just get down. Where's this guy? Get. Oh, now he's in the water. There is another row above us, so. Um, yeah. Things are spawning up there, too. Ugh. I hate zombies. See ya. Is there another one nearby? No? Is that just him? Alright, that's good. It's good if it was just him. There's a bunch of gold and stuff down here, which is nice. I'm not really interested in that. I did use a decent amount of iron making tracks for them to come over here. I made, like... Well, I already had a good two stacks of tracks, but I made another two stacks. Um, just so that I could be sure that I wouldn't have to make, like, a dozen trips back and forth, back and forth. Try and get them forward, and then get them more tracks, and then get them forward, and then get them more tracks. And you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. but yeah, so it went pretty smoothly. No no hiccups along the way. One time I did have to run away and sleep and then run back, but they seemed perfectly fine. They were in transit when I ran away from them to sleep, so... Um, I'm assuming I wouldn't have had to worry about that too much anyway. Because I was a little worried that a zombie would just happen to spawn near them and then they would just die. But uh, they were fine. So everything went over. Everything went okay. I'm just gonna do that. No need to have unnecessary water down there. What are you doing, spider? How'd you get down there? Huh? Huh? How'd you get down there? Let's put a torch there. And I'm gonna do this. <laughs> you guys probably don't care to see this that much, do you? I suppose not. Um, there was a cave, though, somewhere, or maybe it was just this ravine. No, there was, there was another cave somewhere, I think. I remember seeing a skeleton in the cave. Yeah, right there. Let's go in there. Let's see if we can find anything interesting. What happened here? Did some endermen get to it? Or is this the other ravine? Oh, I think this might be the other ravine. Yeah. There must, I think there was a cave somewhere, though, that I saw. Pretty sure. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't think I am. Um, if there was, it would have been this way. Not there. Maybe I just saw the ravine. The other ravine and thought it was a cave. Maybe it was higher up. I could have sworn I saw a freaking cave. 
Um, I have no idea. Wait. Uh, yeah, I think I thought that was another cave, but then it turned out to be the ravine. This one I can easily block off. Hey there. Yeah. You're dead, aren't you? Okay, put a torch in the middle there. Alright, so it looks like this ravine doesn't really go anywhere, which is unfortunate. I was kind of expecting a big adventure. But, oh well, it happens. Uh, we got some iron out of it, which is good. Not a whole lot, I guess. Um... How much do we have? 18. It's not much. There's a lot more in this cave than I've mined out. This ravine than I've mined out. Let's block this off. Maybe I'll we'll come back down at some point and mine all this stuff out. That's not a promise, mind you. But, um, there is a good deal of materials in this cave. Ravine. Thing. So, um,. I mean, I guess I don't really need iron all that much anymore, or even, like, gold, or coal. I mean, coal is nice to have, of course, but, I mean, I've got plenty of it. Uh, well, we're down here. Might as well grab some coal. Okay, so I was hoping this would be a bit more of a exploring episode, but apparently not. But that's okay, because I'm probably incredibly over right now anyway, so... <laughs> Let's see. What's that? Oh, just cobblestone. Thought it might have been some iron. What time is it? It's noon. Okay. Well, that looks like that's about as far as it's going to go. So, uh, if I missed anything, let me know, because I would appreciate it. Um, I would like to find more caves around here to light up. I mean, the more I light up down here, unfortunately, the more uh, zombies are going to spawn on the surface near my, my precious villagers. But, um, you know, I'll try to keep it day for a while, and um, then, okay, let's just do this, and, uh, oh, wrong one. I want this iron and this coal, because it's all just so close to each other. I feel bad just leaving it here, because it's like, well, there's so much of it. It's, it's everywhere. It's so easily accessible right next to my staircase. Gotta grab it. Can't just leave it there. Now let's go check up on the villagers again, and we'll see how well they're doing. And if they've started multiplying, too, because last I saw there was like six of them I think and I'm hoping there will be more of them now but how is my week doing? Oh, I, could, I could use to harvest that I'll do that when I end the episode I mean I have a ton of wheat now so it's not really a problem it's, I'm not running low um, like you know I've got plenty but uh, you know you never know when you're going to need some wheat, or a lot of wheat, like a hundred stacks, so <laughs> might as well stock up. Okay, what, we have five in here? Jeez, guys. Yeah, there's five right here. Last I saw, there were two scientists, or librarian guys, uh, like babies running around. So, this guy seems to like it in here. Maybe he'll be our, our uh, cafeteria lady. He could just be our cafeteria lady, no big deal. Doesn't matter if he's a guy. Still gonna call him the cafeteria lady. Um, <coughs> excuse me. He's chilling in there. Um, they do seem to like these buildings, even though there's no doors on them. He was in here, right? Man, that keeps happening. These villagers are crafty. Yeah, I pulled off all the doors from all of these buildings because these are the ones where they died last time. <laughs> like, they were all huddled down in these buildings and then they all died. Because these buildings, are just, they're just so unprotected and so wantonly built. 
it's like, ugh. Um, let's see, are these guys, it looks like these guys are using these buildings as houses, so that's good, but they don't seem to, once, like when night hits, they all seem to just run into here and think, oh, well, I'm in a house now, so no need to go into another house, and then they huddle in the corner. So, yeah. But it looks like we're doing pretty well. Um, we've got one guy here. There's the one guy who's presumably still in here. He seems to like going down the stairs. Oh, or not. Or not. I don't know where he is. I think they will go upstairs. And, yeah. Yeah, see, he's, he's doing something with the door there. Um... So they should recognize those as houses just fine. There's two guys in here. Any in these houses? They don't seem to like these houses that much, though. Which is odd. So there was one, two, three. Oh, at night time, they'll all run into a house. Okay, we have one, two. You might want to back away from the door, guys. I mean, there's zombies about. Well, there might be zombies about, at least. I wonder if I were to switch these to one-door houses. Oh. <coughs> if they would just immediately run over to this place. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's that's neat. We've got some villagers breeding and growing and all that good stuff. There should be more children if they were going to spread, so they aren't. It doesn't look like they're going to grow any, like they're going to have any more babies, because as <coughs> like I said, when I brought them here, they immediately had babies. Um. And I came back, like, later that day, and they had another baby. So there should be babies now if they were going to spread more. So I think the problem is that, like, this building right here, they recognize it as a house, but because there's a double door, for some reason they just don't want to use it as a house. So, <laughs> oh god. Um, so I may have to just renovate this house and this house to only have one one door, which shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I could just, like, move the door over here and then have a window on this side, and on this one I might just be able to... Mm, maybe I could remove one, like, one wall here and move it in, move it in one block, um, and then just make this one one longer, and then that way I'll have a, <coughs> an even... I'll be able to put one door on it, you know? I think they do put one villager per house, or per door, I should say. So, um, that's kind of weird, because I feel like you should have more than one person per household, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Well, even even living in America, where, where, where a lot of us live on our own, like, you know, you go to a lot of Asian countries, and they live with, like, their whole family, so, um... I'm, I'm talking as if none of you are from there. If you are, then excuse me if I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know that um, Asian countries are usually very family-based. So they tend to live with their families. Uh, not all Asian countries, I'm sure. But, like, Japan, half the time, I've heard that they have their whole families in, like, an apartment. Because there's so many people and not enough space. But, yeah. So I feel like they should have, you know, like, four people could live in this house here. I feel, but maybe not. Maybe they don't think so. So, whatever. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.